So I have here a two-part mould. Okay, I've taken it from, from a pumpkin. I have marked where the two parts should meet so that I can easily just put it back on top. Because then you put the other part of the, in what they call the investment, on there. Normally, you would um, have rubber bands around here. So let's, let's just get started with putting this in. There are different um, techniques you can use. So this first one will be to fill the whole mould and let it stand for 10, maybe 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes, by which time, you know, it'll start to thicken and then you empty out what's left that's molten. And you have to leave it a little bit longer and then we take it out. So some of it will probably come out of the side, but only of the rubber mould bit, not of this bit because this is heavy enough and big enough that it shouldn't seep out. Because the way you create the jacket, there's no gap between the two layers of the jacket. This is very temperature dependent, really. So if, if it's a cold day, it'll probably cool quicker. Or on a hot day, it'll probably hang around for quite some time. OK, so it's had about 15 minutes, so we're going to pour the excess into our pot. So all I do is just tip it up and you can see it coming out. Once it's drained out, leave it for another five minutes maybe before you try and demould it. Because if it's too, still too warm, it might warp. So that came out nicely. <laughs> What's likely to happen is the top part will maybe a bit thinner. So that's where you might need the extra layer. So I'm going to put some more in and I'll just show you how you can create another layer. But if your wax is too hot, it will just melt what's in there already. So you might even want to let it cool down a little bit before pouring it in. And what I'm going to do is just rotate it and that way I should be able to get more wax on the upper section. And you can do this more than once. Ballpark figure, three to five millimetres. And then if you're building something bigger, obviously you want more layers. So let's see. Oh, wow, it's come out. So this is a complicated mould. So this requires a different uh, technique to get the wax into the mould. You cannot simply put this mould together like that. All the holes line up so you would use, you know, put the whole thing together and then expect to be able to pour the wax in and for it to remain hollow. This is the whole thing. Yeah, so this is bronze. So this is 38 kilos. So this was my degree piece. So there are gonna, I'm going to show you two, two ways to um, put this together. One is pouring it in to as much of this as you can. And the other method is painting it on. I'll just show you. You can see lots of cavities mm -hmm. yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and get as much of the wax into these cavities because it's really difficult. So that's as far as we've got that far. So that's a very thin layer. Mm -hmm. Okay, a very thin layer. So I'm going to continue. So this gives you quite good, quite good control over where the wax goes, but it is quite messy. So you note that I'm also having to swirl it round a bit to try and get it into the different pockets. Okay, so if you want to have a look, pass it round. So that should be adequate. 
it is a complicated mould, mm. you know, it's got depressions, it's got pockets. Mm -hmm. So you can see where I've got all my little dimples and you can see the edge of the sculpture and it's the same this side, okay, same that side. So once you've got your wax in there, you, before you can put these two sides together, you then need to work on this to remove any of the wax that is, on, that is not in your sculpture because you don't want that separating the two pieces of rubber. So then you're going to just paint, paint it in. I think with this method you have a little bit more control over your first layer, so how much actually goes into each pocket, for instance. Okay, so that's the, that's the second bit. So you can see ta I've taken off all the other bits that I don't need. Oh, now for the fun bit. So what you've got to remember is that you've got seams, so you've got to try and swirl it around to cover as much of it as you can. You can hear it gurgle sometimes as well. This jacket will come off and then you're left with the silicone rubber sticking over the wax so you're just going to have to gently ease, ease that out. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is the demonstration. Alright, thank you.